Hello everyone, I'm Chef Marco and today I'm going to show you how to do a Moroccan uh, tagine and I'm going to do a lamb tagine and I'm going to use some lamb chunks and I'm going to finish the tagine with some uh, couscous, some fragrant couscous uh, with some yogurt and some pomegranates So a tagine is a slow cook dish basically is a, you, when you make a tagine you slow cook meat or veg and because today I'm going to use these lamb chunks we're going to slow cook this and we're going to need to start by searing the whole meat so you have this nice brown color around and it's going to keep some more flavor and then you're going to add all our veg and you're going to put some liquid into the pan and you're going to cook it for a long time you're going to cook it for something between one to two hours really really low and slow and uh, we're going to cook it until all the meat starts to come out of the bone i will show you later but as soon as you see the meat coming out of the bone it means that the gene is ready okay so just add the oil to the pan it's really hot now so we're gonna go and sear our lamb so our meat is ready i'm gonna take it out now okay so in the same pan the same pan that you sear your meat we're gonna start to adding some uh, cumin seeds and we add it now because you want to toast the cumin seeds So as soon as the cumin seeds are toasted, we're gonna add some uh, celery, onions, and carrots and garlic that I just chop roughly. You don't don't worry to chop it too uh, too small. I like to have quite chunks, uh, quite big chunks of veg on my tagine. So we're gonna add this. We're gonna cook it for a few minutes until you have a nice color in uh, all your veg. I'm gonna add one bay leaf now and one dried chili. This chili is really strong, it's really spicy. So if you don't want it to, that spice, just add a normal chili or don't put any chili if you, uh, if you really don't like spicy food. I really like it, so I'm gonna add it. And because it's dry, I'm just gonna cut it in half so it releases all the, the oils and everything to the, to the sauce, but it's gonna be really spicy. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some chopped tomatoes, fresh tomatoes. So now I'm gonna add some apricots, dried apricots. And this is gonna give some really, really sweet flavor to my uh, tagine. It's gonna balance the spiciness, so it's gonna be uh, it's really good on the dish. So I'm just gonna chop them and add them to the tagine. And now to my onions. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. Some uh, arisa spice. Some turmeric. Ground cinnamon. Rasala nut, nutmeg, and ground cloves. Okay, um, after adding your tomato paste and fry it for a little bit, we're gonna add back our um, lamb chunk to our veg. I'm gonna cook it for a few minutes in here. I'm gonna add some chickpeas now. Okay, I'm gonna add my uh, red wine now to deglaze the all the bottom of the pan. We're gonna let the, um, the wine reduce in half and we're gonna go ahead and add, uh, I'm gonna add some water because I think there is enough flavor in here already, but you can always add stock if you want some lamb stock, some chicken stock, uh, veg stock. I think it's already enough flavor in there. So I'm just gonna add some water. And now we're gonna put the lid on and we're gonna cook it for two hours or at the, until the meat starts to come out of the bone. When your um, lamb is nearly cooked, you're gonna do your couscous. A couscous is really uh, fast to make, so don't do it too early. Just do it when uh, the lamb is nearly ready. And you just need some uh, boiling water and couscous. And then you're gonna add uh, the flavor that you wanna do. I'm gonna use some saffron and some mint and some uh, lemon zest. Okay, so I add my saffron to the water because this saffron is dried in the sun. Um, this spicy basically is the most expensive spicy in the world. It's more expensive than gold. So don't add too many because it's really, really expensive. It's really good as well. It's really fragrant. So you're gonna, you're gonna need to try it. You're gonna, you're gonna, I don't know if you're gonna like it or not. It's, it's, the smell is really strong and the flavor is really strong as well. I really like it. And I think it gives a nice color to the, to the food as well. So just put it in the water because like I said, it's dried, it's gonna soak and it's gonna 
release all the flavors to the water. And then we're gonna use this water to soak our couscous. Couscous is different than rice because when you cook rice, you start with just a little bit of rice and then the rice will soak and will uh, grow a lot. The couscous is not like that. It's gonna grow a little bit, but the couscous that you put in a bowl is the couscous that you're gonna have. It's not gonna grow a lot. So just measure more or less uh, for how many people you're cooking. Just add your couscous and you're gonna need to add water until you cover the, the couscous, put a tea towel and it's ready. So the couscous is ready, it's so cold the water. So now I'm gonna fi finish my couscous with some uh, fresh mint, uh, the zest of um, a lime, salt and pepper, a drizzle of um, extra virgin olive oil, and it's ready. When you finish adding all um, your ingredients to the couscous, you're gonna need to mix it, but use a fork, don't use a spoon, because with a fork, you're gonna fluffy the, fluff up the, the couscous. Uh, with a spoon, you're just gonna make like lumps. So just use a fork, give it a mix. Okay, so like I said in the beginning, I'm gonna use some pomegranates to finish my dish. It's gonna give a nice sweetness as well and it's gonna give some nice color to the dish. So to take the seeds out of a pomegranate, you're just gonna slice it in half and you're gonna grab half of the time, put it with the seeds uh, in your hand and open your fingers and with a spoon, you're just gonna smash it. Okay, so my lamb is ready, my pomegranates are ready, and the couscous is ready. It's time to plate. And there you have it, my Moroccan tagine made with the braised lamb shanks. It's a really, really good dish. It's spicy, it's sweet, it's fragrant. It's really, really, really good. You need to try this recipe. If you never had uh, any Moroccan food before, this is a good one. It's quite easy to do. So just try that one. Let me know if you like it or not. And don't forget, subscribe our channel, like our videos, comment below. My name is Marco and I'm your private chef.